All right, we're here at Composites USA again today, and um, I want to give you a, um, a video or make a video for you of attaching an elbow um, to a piece of uh, what diameter pipes is Scott? Eight inch. That's a piece of eight inch flame guard duct. Now our flame guard duct is uh, called a class one duct. I mean, it has a flame spread rating of less than 25, so it's used in areas where you have high heat and you don't want your duct to catch fire. So it's um, uh, and and burn you know to nothing. So this duct is uh, widely used in many many industries. Um, and if you were with a video, if you saw a video we did the other day, you saw us joining um, two pieces of duct together. And here's that joint. Now I've asked Scott you know, our uh, fabricator to join an elbow to the end of this piece of duct. And so he, is, um, he has leveled the duct, the leveled the big piece long duct, straight duct, and he's also then leveled the elbow and he's now gonna check the elbow from side to side um, with your other level, with the other. So he's checked it both ways and we're level both ways. Um, we're gonna forego the, the um, coating the ends of the uh, duct today just to show you the joint. Um, sometimes we, coat, we hot coat the ends where we're concerned that corrosion might attack the fibers uh, through the end of the duct where it's cut. So he is uh, using a hot glue gun. He's attaching the uh, two pieces together with hot glue and that will hold it so that when he laminates the duct doesn't move. So you can move the levels off. Um, as the hot glue cures, it becomes stable. All right, we'll go over to his laminating table. Again, he's got his uh, gloves on and it, the appropriate PPE. We've got cardboard on the floor. First, first um, t task is going to be the talc. So he has some talc in his stuff with uh, what kind of resin is this, Scott? Uh, 922. This is 922 with uh, antimony in it. And um, so he'll mix a little bit of talc, put some MEKP in it, catalyze it about 2%. And then he's going to spread this talc over the joint so that uh, you can see there's some. Um, you know areas where the duct has different sizes and where it's overlapping or where where it's higher than other areas of the duct and he's just going to smooth that on there so that those areas are are uh, eliminated those high low areas are eliminated so he smooths it on with a uh, popsicle stick then he's going to come back with a squeegee All right, looks good, Scott. So he's gonna put what? How many ply layups, Scott? Are you gonna put on this? It's a five ply. He's gonna put a five ply layup, which is gonna be two um, layers of uh, woven woven glass, uh, such as you see here, and then three layers of chopped strand mat. Okay, so we'll start. Um, you got, and, and then a corrosion barrier. So he's gonna catalyze his resin. He's got what, two quart there, Scott? Mm -hmm. I two, only need half. He's only gonna use a small amount, so probably use a quart of resin, a little less than a quart. And put his MEKP in. How many, how many cc's, Scott? 20. Gonna put 20 cc's in, which is gonna be a little heavier uh, that you can He's making it kick off a little quicker here than uh, what you have to.
again, as you can see, he's staggering the joints so that it's not a hard, um, so there's some overlap when he puts his second layup on. This is going to go halfway around the pipe and he's going to do it in his second layup. So the joints are staggered so that uh, when the sec second layup goes on, they'll overlap those, those particular pieces of glass. So it's about a half inch, three quarter inch per piece. This one, if you notice, we didn't use a corrosion barrier. Um, often not necessary based on what, what the service um, and where the, the duct is going to be installed at. So he smooths it on. Um, got, a little, got a hard roller this time. A lot of the skill or a lot of the um, success you have in rolling, use depends on what kind of roller you use. This is a hard roller, it rolls out um, a little more smooth, smaller diameter. So he'll just proceed in rolling around the duct and making that, um, it's called consolidating the resin and the glass together um, in the area where, uh, where the glass is laid. We'll go to the other side here. got a little bit to smooth out here and then to be ready for his other half. Okay, so we're ready for the other half of the glass. As you can see, this um, only takes a short time and uh, and we're videoing it. So we've been videoing about seven minutes now, showing you um, how to level, and then the wetting out of the glass and the joining of it. As you can see, the, the, uh, the hot glue kept the two pieces from moving while we were uh, putting all that pressure on it to laminate it. So he's got three pieces laid up. Again, when we provide a kit to you, we will provide these pieces of glass for you, um, already pre-cut for you to, um, you'll have to cut length, but we, we could cut length for you too. We do it both ways. We give you rolls and you can cut length, or, we, or you could cut your length uh, yourself. As you can see, the glass did not uh, peel off. He's starting at the top on both sides. Making sure he overlaps all the way. It's got what what uh, how long how long a time you think this will take before it uh, becomes hard and cured? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes will be cured, and in a few hours it could be used. Correct. Again, you can see the pipe's not moving. The little bit of hot glue that we put on in three, four spots um, secures it. And he's putting pressure on it to, uh, lamin to roll it out or to laminate it out and it's not moving and it's, it's, it's staying secure. Okay, um, we've made another joint and it shows you, you know, how simple it is. Uh, the one thing I didn't mention was we had ground back some of the, uh, the uh, glass on the uh, edge of the joint so that we have a good surface to laminate to remove any any dirt or any grease might have gotten on there in going transport all right thank you very much and scott thank you you're our our um, uh, rtp1 certified bonder and we're happy to have you thank you